we're doing something a little bit different today. Starting off searching with Giants episode two with a small swim bait by Live Target. We're gonna see if we can get a big old bass. Pressure's very high today. Got a very cold morning, around 30 degrees right now. I'm gonna hope to just get a few bites today on this and see if we can find some big ones at these new ponds. I feel like there'd be one right here on the edge of this. Oh God, you got him? There you go. Alan's got the first fish today. Alan with the first fish with a little baby, but that just gets the monkey off the back. We're searching for the giants. He's covering water with that trap. I'm throwing the swim bait, trying to get a little bigger bite. Good job. That is a good start. Is, there should be one right there. Yep. Oh, that's a decent one, bro. Oh, no, you ain't. You're running sideways with me. I was fishing here. Weave through the dinks. Dink. Dink, dink, dink. The dink, dink, dink. Dink, dink, dink. Go. Oh. No. You should have saw how. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh that was hilarious i thought he's gonna hop up on the bank no dude look at this i'm just ripping it off the bottom i'm letting it sit i'm real back my slack rip it off the bottom again like no continuous movement and he bit it there's a lot slower i lift it up he's loaded he felt big for a minute there when they surprise you like that they seem big Look at that. Spooked the fish right away. There he is. That's a better one, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. What in the heck? He's like spinning. I might have hooked him in the tail. That's probably why. Oh. Oh, he's a good one. Huh? It's because he's in the face. That's why. Oh, yeah. Now he was spinning circles when I was reeling him. That's why he felt so big. I was like, oh yeah, that's <laughs> good one. That's the best one today, guys. About a pound and a quarter if we're lucky. This is still dink, so searching for giants. This is not the ones we're looking for, but thank you for biting, buddy. You felt big. I hooked him in the side of the head. He was just spinning circles as I was reeling him in. I must didn't think he was a bass. Oh God! Hey, reel up, reel up. He had it. Is he big? How big is he? Dude, he's heavy. Is he that big? Or you have him in the side? Yeah, you got him in the side. Oh, it's a crappie! Holy crap! Dude, that is the biggest crappie I've ever seen in my life. Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> what the? Bro, that that's the biggest one I've seen. That is so big. What, yeah, put your hand up next to it. You got some big hands oh, too, God. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, that is a slab. Yeah, you had him in the side. That's kind of, that's how that other fish was. Like, I've never seen a crappie just have like a fat stomach. You know how bass just have that fat bulging? <laughs> Dude, that, that is a big one. Oh, God, it's a good one. Yeah. God. He choked it too in the back of this fish's throat. Not a chance. We're keying in on it. It's a very tough bite. What a beautiful fish. What we're doing is we're keying in on what's really happening. It's super tough. You got a lot of this wind that's pushing right up on this bank. It's also pushing back in this cove, and that's really what we're targeting right now. And if you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little flat right here. It's a little shallow spot that comes up and then it drops off. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, you're online. <laughs> As I was saying, guys, there's a little shallow spot right here and it drops off on both sides and that's where that fish was sitting. There should be some more sitting around here. It just made the most sense.
Yo. Uh, I think I got him in the side. Oh, well, he's not a bad one. There we go. We're figuring some out, guys. Once this wind picked up, sun came out a little bit. The bites got a lot better. This wind's helping so much, though. I couldn't tell you how important that is. All right, everybody. We're doing something a little bit different right now. I know this is Searching for Giants. This is episode two. Last episode was episode one. It's been a really tough morning. Um, the pressure is super high. It was around 30 degrees early this morning, and it's just been super rough. But what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna hit one of the ponds that we hit for Searching for Giants, episode one, and just see, because, I mean, the fishing's tough, guys, and I really wanna get an episode out. So we're gonna go, me and Alan Bob both got traps on. We're gonna go out on this little grass flat out here and rip it through the grass. See if we can catch a big bass. Let's get it. God, we, bro. He's running towards us. You want me to get him for you, or you just wanna? Oh, God, bro. God. He slapped you that hard? He hammered it, bro. Like, I let it drop, and he was like, Doof. bow. Bow. And he took off. You see him jump? Yeah, dude, that was sweet. You were out there, too. Oh, yeah. Money. Way out there on that flat. Well, that wind is ripping. Yeah. Yeah. But look how he ate that thing. That's good. He wanted that trap. Yeah, he ate that. Good job. Good job. We're getting somewhere. That's not like a giant, but I mean, that's a qual that's quality fish. Look at his fat little tummy on him. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job. Yes, sir. I want to talk about what we're doing, why he caught that fish. We came here the other day. It was slightly different. Bunch of wind pushing up on here. Fish were a little bit more active. We were straight up, you know, casting that trap out there, reeling it back in with a steady retrieve. Every once in a while, we'll rip it out of the grass. Um, but today has been a little different approach. You know, we're throwing this trap out there and we're ripping it hard out of that grass. And we're, we're not really consistently reeling this bait. We're trying to move it as slow as possible, but at the same time, ripping it out of that grass. So if you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, I'm throwing a simple booyah right there. That's a one knocker. And this is actually gold with a black back. It's one of my favorite traps besides like an old, you know, red trap. And what we're doing, beaming a long cast right out there. Clicking my reel, there's a bunch of grass. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reel my bait up and I'm kind of just stroking my rod, just like that. And I let my bait sink and I stroke it back up. So what's, what that's doing is when that bait sinks, it's going down in that grass and then I'm ripping that bait up. If I get a lot of grass on there, I'm gonna oh, scare me. Just like that, there's a lot of grass. I'm gonna rip my bait up like that. It's gonna, what it's gonna do is gonna kick all that grass off and that's usually when you're gonna get that bite. You'll feel them slap it. But I just wanted to talk about, you know, kind of what we're doing. Since you guys are watching, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes and that's what I wanna do more of. So if you guys wanna, you know, learn some more tips, as you guys can tell, there's, there's like good grass is sitting out there. Those fish are just sitting all up in that. If you guys want to see some more tips like this within the series or within my videos in general, um, kind of more explaining on what we're doing, we'll be sure to do that. But let's see if we can keep casting out here on this little grass flat, catch some old fat. What did I just say? Yeah, he was out there. Was it? Oh God. Yeah, that's a good one. Not bad, not bad. I'll take them. This might be my best. No, the other one I caught was bigger. Yeah, yeah, the other. Solid pound and a half. Ooh, he's peeing. Had to help him squeeze it out a little bit, you know. <laughs> That's a little freaking fatty. God, we're ripping this trap, guys, through this grass out here, and they're just killing it. It is awesome. This has been a tough day, but when you're catching them like that, that's just fun. It's starting to get a little better. We're starting to find these bigger fish, or at least thicker, little fat, fat bass. Oh, splash me all in the face. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna beam past this grass. Oh my gosh. Yes. <gasps> Alan, that was about an eight pounder, bro. I'm not lying right now. 
I cannot believe I just missed that fish. Did you see how big he was? Let's see if there's another one up there. Hey, that was like a seven, eight pounder. I saw his tail. I got too excited. That was all my fault, honestly. I got too excited too quick. I didn't let him eat it. Dude. So I was supposed to leave the video off here. Like this was supposed to be the end of the video. It's supposed to be done. This whole deal. But I actually got out of class. I had a few more minutes before the sun came down. And I came out here to a pond that I've been to that's right by my house. It's been in a lot of the episodes. Anyways, I'm just gonna roll the clips and uh hope you guys enjoy. Uh oh. Got him. On the swim bait. Oh, he ain't that big. He actually ain't that big. Like two pounds though. He ain't even that. He choked that freaking swim bait, baby. Oh man, look at that right there. He choked that freaking swim bait. Finally, I've been waiting on a bite on this all day. I wasn't even gonna do this. This isn't even a part of this challenge or video, but heck, I'm, <laughs> I was bound and determined to catch one on this. Look at that, guys. Pretty fish on the swim bait. He's not even that big. I thought he was way bigger when he jumped. But <laughs> yes, we got one on the swim bait. That was my goal today. Heck yeah, buddy. Thank you for biting, man. It's pretty chilly right now. Thank you for biting. Oh. All right. Yeah, there we go, guys. Holy crap, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Searching for Giants, episode two. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. I actually just got done filming Searching for Giants, episode three, and I'm in a big rush right now. I got a lot of stuff to do, um, but I was whacking them, okay? I was whacking them. That's probably gonna be the next episode. Actually, it will be the next episode, so be sure to turn on post notifications. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have been enjoying these videos, and all as always, be sure to pepper that like button. But if you guys have any suggestions on the upcoming videos, you guys let me know. We've been filming some bangers recently and it's just been happening. Fishing's been all right. You know, it hasn't been the best. I've still been kind of banging my head against the wall to catch them. But overall, it's it's been turning into some amazing content that I believe you guys are really loving. But thank you so much for the support. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen in the next couple months. I believe we can do it with you guys. Without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Eat it up, eat it up, yeah, yeah. keep it up, keep it up. Don't stop. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Yeah.